Alrighty, boys and girls, we're coming in on our next Hespori kill. Coming in hot and fast. That was actually a pretty good one. I feel good about that. 240! A new personal record! That was Hespori kill count number 6. Let me take off my prayers. That was good. I felt good about that one. I knew it was going to be good. And it was! 240 is still, you know, <laughs> hot trash. But, it's better than my previous best, which was like 309. Let's uh, get a pet, boys. Or something dope. I don't know what else we can get, honestly. To be to be honest, uh, four quorums and a, a task seed. <sighs> so garbage. <laughs> Hot garbage. So the Hespori kill might not have been that much of a, a good kill. But in other news, there's been a lot of progress made on the account, boys and girls. Um, Don't mind my mismatched garbage outfit right now. It'll all be explained in due time. First of all, now that we're not in the middle of an intense battle, let me properly introduce the episode. Boys and girls, how you guys doing? Welcome back to Old School RuneScape, Hardcore Iron Man Lockdown Edition. Your boy has been at home do doing nothing but lifting heavy objects and playing RuneScape. It's been great. How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing okay? Staying insane out there? Hopefully you're staying home. First of all, before we go any further, check out this cash stack. Almost 300k, your boy is rich! You boys are rich trick. That's not true. It's but it's the most cash I've had in a long time. But check out this. This is what's really hot. Almost a two mil seed vault. I've got tons of garbage. I've been doing so many contracts. I've been it's it's been great because I've just been playing games and getting caught up. Like I just played through the Wolfenstein games, which are like years old, and they're so good. They're so good. But I put them off for so long because I thought, oh, they're just a generic shooter. Turns out they have a great story. So I've just been doing farming runs and farming contracts while I've been playing games and stuff. It's been awesome. But look at all these gar- I, this, is, this is a bunch of garbage right here. But uh, I got tons of limpworts. I got so many good herbs though. I got a couple of ranars. I've planted so many ranars. I like have nearly 150 prayer potions. Like it's insane. Uh, I've got a couple of really good herbs. Uh, these are my hops for my birdhouses. The berries are garbage. I've got a couple redwoods. You can't plant those until 90 farming, but uh, <laughs> I've got them. I got a bunch of those. You saw me get those dragon fruits. Here's what's really, uh, a couple exotics. I got another uh, spirit seed from a birdhouse, actually. Or from a bird's nest, I guess, rather. I got a celestria. You can't plant that until 85. I have six more hespories in the bank. Good to go. I've been trying to just do the hespories on video because, you know, they're like a, they're like the highest boss I can essentially do right now. But here's what gets real nice. Oh, those are my animals. Who cares about those? I've got, like, so many many dope saplings now do which is awesome because that's like fruit trees and regular trees are the best way to get your uh, farming XP up but here's the big drum roll okay first of all let me go into my bank real quick and show you just I don't think much has changed in the bank super except for the fact well I don't have my cash in there with my cash stack and the bottomless compost bucket we're like at a hot 30 mil bank which is insane for only having 300k cash and you know being a hardcore Iron Man I feel like 30 mil bank is pretty good um, I've been doing a bunch of agility, as you saw on The Grind, if you watch that episode of The Grind. My RuneScape podcast, which by the way, if you're not watching that, you should check that out. It's dope. Me and my buddy Necro Circus, we, uh, we do an hour-long podcast every week, on Thursdays normally. Uh, I, obviously you saw me, I bought the Graceful Legs, which is the most expensive piece. That costs 60 marks of grace, and I have 21 banked. Um, I can't get really, I try to get the biggest pieces first, so it feels like a little bit less of a chore in the, in the long run. Um, so I've been doing graceful a lot, been doing a bunch of agility. I'll show you the stats here in a second, so don't you fret, boys and girls. Um, not much is- Oh, don't look at that, that's spoilers, kind of. That's kind of spoilers. Um, not much really has changed here. Low here, yeah, uh, no, this is herbs. Uh, I don't- I want- what do I want? What am I doing here? <laughs> I'm drunk, I'm not. Uh, where's my, like, potions and stuff? There we go. 153 prayer potions, dude. That's how many, uh, Ranards I've been growing. That's like 2 mil right there, almost. Almost 2 million <laughs> prayer potions, which is awesome. Um, I don't think much in the gear has changed because I haven't really doing, been doing much combat essentially Although there is something dope. I want to talk about but not just yet. Let's look at the stats because I know what you're I know you're curious I know you want to know. I know you want to know Well, here you go boys and girls Booyah your boy finally hit uh, the very doable 1500 total level like I said uh, 1500 is obtainable it took me it felt like it took me forever but uh, a lot of the stats I've been training have been long going stats. Like, okay, I got 76 farming. I Almost 77. Like I told you, that's what I've been doing this whole time. I've just been farming. I haven't really doing anything else. Not even AFKing anything. I've just been playing games. Having a good time. Trying to enjoy life in uh, <laughs> quarantine, essentially. Um, 
51 runecrafting, that's literally all from Tears of Guthix. Four more levels and we'll have the highest runecrafting we need for questing, um, which is awesome. I think I got a magic level from High Alking while I was doing agility. 66 agility, almost 67, gonna get that probably in this episode. 67 hunter, all from birdhouses, almost 68. We need 70 in both of those, uh, hunter and agility for Song of the Elves. That's the most we'll need for those two skills, which is awesome. We've just been making insane progress. Uh, I've just been gaming, boys. I've been gaming. Uh, I don't think much else. I don't think I've gotten any other stats really besides Hunter. Oh, 60 Herblore? That's a big one. Oh, and uh, I got 61 Fletching. I've just been uh, just doing some of the off easy stuff. Like, Fletching's easy. I've just been putting it off forever because I... Uh, like, I fletched a bunch of maple longbows and had been high alking them while I was doing my agility in the, uh, what is it, Ardune course? Yeah, the one with the Marks of Grace. If you do the Kandoran Diaries, you get bonus Marks of Grace, which is awesome. Uh, so I've been doing that one a lot. Um, so I've just been, you know, just gaming while I, while I still can. Uh, we're gonna do some questing in this episode, get some major skills going on. I've been trying to do some more winter talk because I've just kind of been in the mood for it. I opened up a bunch of crates, but I didn't get anything because I have no willpower. Let's actually do something in this episode instead of staying here and talk. I just want to kind of update you guys on the progress of the stats. 1508 total level. I can finally join some non-plebeian worlds. Feels good, man. Still alive, although I really haven't been doing much dangerous stuff. Or many dangerous things, rather. So let's, uh... Let's go do some actual progress. You're probably tired of this bald nerd talking, right? <laughs> it's just because I'm I'm very lonely. Oh, and there's a couple of other things I want to talk about really quickly. This won't take long, but it's super important because I didn't know you could still do this. Remember how a couple episodes ago I was like, oh, there's a, I almost have all of the emotes except for the one that you have to have like the code for, the premium club that I didn't think you could get anymore? Well, turns out, check this out, boys and girls. Boom! You can still get the premium RuneFest edition stuff. You just have to know the code. So if you go to talk to Diango in Draenor Village, you can unlock the uh, Runefest Lumbridge uh, teleport emote, which I didn't know. I'd always seen people do that cow thing, and I never knew what it was, but that's what it is. It's a Runefest uh, specific code. So you go to Diango, and he asks you for a code. I figured they were just like, you couldn't do them anymore at all. Like it was just a one-time thing. You can no longer enter the code. Go away, dude. I'm freaking talking to people. Not you, you ogre nerd. So if you go to Diango and talk uh, talk to him, he'll ask for a code. If you type in O-S-R-S-R-F, which is Old School RuneScape RuneFest, just all initials, O-S-R-S-R-F, 2014, that'll unlock the cow-themed home teleport animation. They just released one for the Twisted League, which obviously I didn't buy. I spent all my points on the Slayer Helmet, but then you can change that to that sweet little cow animation. I think it takes the same amount of time as the regular home teleport, but it's still cool nonetheless. Also, if you type in, if you when you go back to Diango and type it in again, if you type in RuneFest 17, that unlocks this sweet, sweet shield, which reminds me of something straight out of Dark Souls. I'll equip it as soon as I'm done raking this. Look at this. That looks, uh, excuse me? That looks so cool. It reminds me of something straight up out of Dark Souls. It, it, it I mean, it, it uh, What's the word I'm looking for? It gives you, like, no benefits or bonuses. It just looks sick. But, uh, I thought that was so cool. And it's just, like, a unique, you know, I never see them around in the game. Because I feel like a lot of people are in the same boat as me. I feel like a lot of people don't know you can still get this stuff. I know I sure didn't. I knew when you go here, uh, to your emotes, and you see this right here, and it's like, you have to have the RuneFest code. I'm like, well, freaking great, dude. But then I remember, well, you know what? Jagex doesn't like putting things in the game that you can no longer ever get again, you know? So here's the emote. Yeah, which is cool because if you do it more than once, it'll uh, change the the color of the shield. So um, you go to, to you go back to Diango and you type in Premier Club P R E M I E R C L U B eighteen. That unlocks the Premier Club shield emote. So those are the three things you can unlock. So if you still go to Diango, you can unlock those if you talk to him. I had no clue. I thought there was no way to get these items anymore, but turns out I was very wrong. So that is pretty spicy news. Um, Go get this shield, dude. I see nobody walking around with this thing. So this is probably some hot loot. So if you wanna if you wanna flex on your friends, <laughs> you're welcome. Getting ready to go and do my birdhouse run. There was one thing I forgot to talk about. Uh, I've been doing mahoganies for the longest time because my crafting has been so low. I got it up to 57. It was 54 for a long time. But crafting to me is such an annoying skill. I know there's tons of ways you can do it now with like the underwater seaweed stuff and like, you know, glass blowing. And that's what I've been doing for a while. But I, I just, ugh, crafting, it's, it's one of the slowest skills for me. I don't know why. Um, my fletching was also very low. My fletching was like 55 or 54, but it's a very easy skill. Um, it's just, you know, bank standing, basically. I fleshed all my maple logs into, um, 
maple longbows. I don't remember what the highest fletching you need is, to be honest, but I got it to 61 for now. I feel like that's a good enough start. Um, honestly, I need to get my construction up, but I'm about to, thankfully, but because next Tears of Guthics is not going to be runecrafting if I don't, so I need to keep grinding on that. Uh, other than fletching and crafting, everything else is pretty even. Uh, my Slayer is obviously still pretty low, because I've been grinding just points on Slayer and not, uh, you know, Slayer experience because I want my Slayer helmet because I'm doing that in the most inefficient way possible. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to bring that back up because I'm just all over the place tonight because it's been forever since I've talked to you guys. I missed you guys. How have you been? Please <laughs> leave a comment. I'm very alone. You know, actually, training agility hasn't been that bad. I think it's because I haven't really had, like, I haven't done any agility really on this account at all except for, uh, like... All my agility levels up until like 60 basically had been from uh, Barbarian Fishing. So I really haven't had to do much of the agility grind, which, and, and honestly, it hasn't been, like, I've only gotten six, almost seven levels here now. I've gotten, like, about 80 marks of grace. I think the whole graceful outfit's like 260, which, by the way, is freaking bonkers. Plus an extra 90 if you want to recolor it, which, let's be honest, I want to recolor it because it looks freaking rad. Um, also, here is going to be 67 agility. Boom, which I don't think gives us, uh, you cannot access the nil dungeons using rubble climb. Don't know what that is, but sweet. We need 70 for Song of the Elves. That's the highest for questing we need. Um, but I, th I have a feeling I'm going to need a way more than that just to get full graceful even. I don't know if I can get, you know, <laughs> I have like 21 tokens in the bank and, uh, plus the 60 I spent on the legs. That's only like 80 ish. And like I said, 260 for the full set. So we've got a ways to go for that. So I think I'm going to, and, and I think you can do... I think you can go 20 levels above the original course requirement, which is 60 for this course, before you start to get less grace marks. So, I'll probably stay here for a while. Uh, I got herbal orb a bunch, thanks to all of my farming, um, all of the herbs and stuff. But And you need 70 for Song of the Elves. I'm almost 61. With diaries and a couple questing, we should get pretty close, which I'm really thankful, because I was starting to get kind of concerned with that, because, let's be honest, Iron Man herbal orb is a grind. Um, everything else, I mean... All my hunter has literally come from birdhouses, and when you do them consistently, it goes pretty quick, because with mahoganies alone, like, I don't know what it is for use, which I need 60 crafting for, I've been trying to rush to that, but with mahoganies, it's like 4,000 XP per run, and every hour, that adds up really quickly, like, I'm almost at 68, and I have not trained hunter any at all, it's all been from birdhouses or questing, which isn't really much questing, so... That's awesome. Uh, speaking of questing, I'm going to go finish up Mornings in Part 1. I started that quest because there's an achievement diary that requires you to grow a palm tree there and to start and just to get the crystal teleport seed there so I don't have to, you know, charter a ship there anymore. So let's go do that real quick. And, um, oh, look at that. That's so tempting. I wish I could do that, but it won't let me because I haven't done the quest yet. Song of the Elves is so far away. But, uh, Mornings in Part 1 isn't that bad of a quest. I mean, it's long. But it's really just some running around. Mornings in Part 2 is, of course, the uh, the garbage quest, which I could technically do right after this, but I am in no no way wanting to do, to do that. I've only done Mornings in Part 2 ever once in my life, and that was on my main account, and that was a normie account, so I could just buy the Death Talisman. Going through that garbage dungeon alone is worse enough. I could not imagine all the items we have to get for the Death Talisman and that, so let me wrap this up really quick, and then we will uh, wrap this quest up. Oh, and there we go. There is Mornings in Part 1. Two quest points. Uh, 25,000 hit point XP? Really? That's such a strange uh, such a strange quest. And 25,000 thieving, which I have 92 thieving, so <laughs> not going to affect me much. Is that a hit points level, I wonder? So what are we going to do about the Temple of Light? I really don't care, actually. I really don't actually care at all. Return to the Mourner Headquarters. Yeah, and access their mines. Start with Mornings in Part 2. I mean, I guess start it. Why not? I'm not going to do it, but might as well get it started, I guess. Oh, it is! Let's go! 67 hit points. Is that a combat level? Oh, come on, dude. I'm so close. I'm so close. That's not the first time I've ever said that. So there's Mornings in Part 1. Two, two, two quest points. That looks freaking nice, dude. We only have... I did. I, I counted it yesterday. I forgot. I think it's like 20-some quests left. Not many. And a lot of them are really easy. Like, I still have Clock Tower. That's such an easy quest. It takes like five minutes. Cold War. Uh, Darkness of Hall... I, but there's also a lot of garbage. Darkness of Hollow Vale. Um, obviously Dragon Slayer 2. I have the runecrafting requirement for Devious Mines, hilariously enough, but not the smithing requirement. That's, like, my next lowest skill. I just need to do it. Smithing I hate so much. Um, my mining is not bad, though. Mining not bad, but smithing, blech. Blech. So, there's that. Uh, Mornings in Part 1. Again, not that big of a deal. Just kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> just anything with the elves. I, I do like Song of the Elves, though. That was a really good quest when I did it on my main. So, let's go, uh, I don't know. Oh, here, let's check out my palm. How's that doing? Is it almost done? No, not even freaking close. I just planted it not too long ago. But it's nice to have another fruit patch tree. There's one more fruit 
patch tree. It's in the farming guild though, in the high tier, but you need 85 farming to get that, and I'm, uh, you know, almost 77, so it's a ways away. Hey, look at that. We got 1510. What were the levels I got? What? What? Wait, hold on. I was 1508 when I started this episode. What did I get? Oh, the agility level and then the hit points level. Nice. I'm so even, by the way. Like, I did not plan this. My stats are so, like, 65, 67, 65, 68, 65, 67. I did not plan that. I'm just, I don't know. I guess I'm just all over the place. 67, 61, and then I have two 90s, but whatever. Okay, on to bigger and better things. More progress, specifically. <laughs> all right, and as soon as this game is over, we should hit uh, 91 fire making. Not really a substantial... Uh, you know, landmark or anything, but still a big level, and oh my gosh, excuse the freaking lag, there's just a billion people on screen, that's pretty crazy, 91 farming, I mean, Winter Tot is, uh, pretty fast XP regardless, but 276 Winter Tot, uh, kill count, not bad, um, I haven't done Winter Tot in a long time, I did it obviously very early on in my Hardcore Iron Man, um, like, back when you first start, cause 10 HP Winter Tot is pretty dang useful, uh, all I've gotten, like, I haven't gotten anything crazy. I've gotten the whole outfit except for the boots. I've got the, uh, the helmet, or the hood, I guess. The top, the bottoms, and I've gotten three pairs of gloves. And then I've gotten, like, five magic seeds after that, which is just insane. I got a torch. I haven't gotten, you know, a pet or, you know, anything crazy like that, unfortunately. Uh, I did, I did a few, um, I did open a quite a few boxes off camera, but I didn't get anything, so don't worry. A bunch of seeds, because there was one farming contract that I couldn't do. I had to have, like, a snapdragon, so I went and grinded this, and I was like, oh, you know what? This is kind of fun. It had been a long time. Let's see if we get anything from this 91 fire making, uh, supply crate, though. Hey, you know, oh, snap grass. I thought it was Snapdragon. Snap, yeah, garbage. <laughs> garbage! Okay, well, there we go. There's 91 fire making. I now have a level 91 and a level 92. I think that's not bad, dude. That's not bad. I haven't had a 99 in, like, forever. On my main account, I don't even have a 99. I am, like, 1750-ish on my main account. But, back in the RuneScape 3 days, I did get 99 woodcutting. But that was from, uh, Ivy. You guys remember Ivy? You could just stand there, like, behind the Varrock Palace and just basically... It's like botting, essentially. <laughs> you just chop Ivy. You don't get anything for it. It's just, like, the most AFK. Anyway, so there's that. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do anything else in the episode. But, uh, you know, that's... Progress, baby! Oh, ever closer to 99 and maybe a phoenix. I just want the bird. I just want the bird. Because you know what they say, right? Oh, well, the bird. <laughs> he is the word. Alrighty, I figured I'd wrap this quest up with, or this quest, this episode up rather with a uh, little mini quest. I figured since we were in Corrind and I got, you know, I got my farm or fire making level, I would go ahead and do one more thing. The mini quest, the Soul Bearer, which uh, you start by finding the book in the Archaeus Library by searching through. Normally, when you're trying to gain favor there, um, it's called like hold, stop talking to me, Keymaster. Thanks, I will. Bye, <laughs> bye. Uh, it's called what is it called? Uh, Bear your soul. So you have to read the book in the Archaeus Library to get it started. It's real quick, real easy. You get this thing right here, the Soul Bearer, which essentially it will. Uh, when you get in sold heads from like, you know, a monster or something, it'll send it right to your bank. Now it has to be recharged, I think, by this guy. I think it only has a certain amount of charges. I, I, let me see. It has no charge. It feeds on soul. Oh, you have to, okay, you have to charge it with soul runes and blood runes. That's it. So not a big deal, but it'll essentially, you know, instead of having to fill up your inventory with a bunch of insold heads, like you're fighting blood veld, something like that. It's nice and easy. Uh, just, you know, to finish up a little more progress. We got a lot done this episode though. Morning's End, a big quest, ever close to that quest cape, uh, lots of skill gains, a lot of them over time, just cause I've been, you know, <laughs> stuck at home, so I've just been gaming my little heart out, we're at 15, 11 total level, which is nice, I'm gonna be getting another hunter level here really quickly, super close to 70, and then I don't need it forever really, unless, there's probably a bunch of diaries that require a higher hunter, but, that's awesome, dude. Um, I'm gonna have to get onto construction because that's my lowest skill right now besides runecrafting, which is ridiculous. Um, construction is not bad, it's just expensive and it's even more tiresome as an Iron Man because you have to you know, you know, chop all the logs and then convert them all into planks and it's just a whole ordeal. I'm gonna just keep farming away and playing games, guys. Stay home. Uh, it's it's best for everybody just to stay safe, man. Uh, game, man. It's it's you have no you have no excuse, man. You have nothing but time. Game, boys and girls. <laughs> Let's do this together. I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Lots of progress. Lots of fun stuff coming soon. I've had lots of time to work on the rap. I'm super excited about that. And you know it's true because I just made it rhyme. <laughs> see you guys very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe. Leave me a like. It helps me out a bunch. It lets me know you guys are enjoying things and that you want to see more. Uh, and, you know, leave a comment. I love to read your comments. And I, I normally always drop a little heart because I'm just such a swell guy. <laughs> see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.